Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide, and we are on July 16th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, anything that's affecting humanity. Starting out here, looking at 304 angstroms, our sun, the last 48 hours. Incoming images here, as we did have that backside large eruption now that we know exactly where it came from. It was a backside eruption, and it looked like that large plasma shot was shot straight south of the sun. Just looking at the incoming imagery here, I do believe that is the region on the backside of the sun as well. Plasma filament lifting away fiery sunspot here in the outgoing position we'll also get a quick look at the multi-spectrum showing all events I want to thank everybody for almost 38,000 subscribers across the world. Much love and God bless everybody. Thank you so much for your subscriptions, your support, and as well the love for the channel. A little collection of data for everybody each day. No earth facing coronal holes, but we are experiencing or did experience our coronal hole windstream from the last coronal hole. Looking at the Iswa spiral here, showing the large backside CME and that's like the third one in a week on the backside of the sun so amazing stuff heads up everybody thank god that was not in an earth facing position dense plasma cosmic energy associated with that large eruption and look how far it goes and travels there on the blue, the Lasco 3 imagery. Thank God not for Earth facing. Let's have a quick look at our real time solar wind as we are sitting at about 420 kilometers per second. And it was pretty jagged overnight from the coronal hole wind stream, starting to calm down now. So we did have an in increase in solar X-ray flux. Geomagnetic activity remains low for today. Looking at our Schumann resonance for today, a power of 10. Quiet. Pretty quiet. Power of 10. Quality of 5.4. Let's have a look at earthquakes as we are very busy. We I did update you this morning on all of the earthquakes in Yellowstone. We're going to show here the most recent, a 5.0 large in Philippines, 10 kilometer depth as well. Julian City, Taiwan still going off. Japan with a 4.4 there. Indonesia, 4.3. Banda Sea, 187 kilometer depth. And as well, 183 kilometer depth, 4.6 there by Luatolo. Papua New Guinea seeing sizable 5.0 as well, 4.3 and a 4.8. Two largest earthquakes on the map today. Tonga region, 5.4 and as well, Kermadec Islands, 5.3, both at a 10 kilometer depth. So shallow for that region. China reporting here a 4.3 in Kuma, China. And as well on the Kyrgyzstan Tajikistan border, 4.3 earthquake. One lonely earthquake to report here, South America, which is kind of strange as well. A 5.2 in Peru, 10 kilometer depth. And just north of that, 4.6 Panama off the coastline into the Cocos Plate. Caribbean plate, largest seeing 3.9 there today, 134 kilometer depth, most recent. And as well, a pretty rare and strange explosion again, yet again, in Flagler Beach, Florida, causing a 3.9 earthquake. And as reported on USGS, it says explosion, experimental explosion. 
So thank you, U.S. military. 3.0 there in Toya, Texas. As well, looking at all these earthquakes. And there was just most recently another one, a 3.9 in Wyoming. So earthquake swarm continues in Yellowstone. As well, continues in Dardenville, California. From that large 6.1 there last week. As well, me and Nevada seeing a small 3.0. Activity coming back to Alaska here. Chiniak, Alaska, seeing a 4.0. Two of them. So activity coming back to Alaska. No major earthquake events to talk about through Hawaii. Let's have a quick look. Last seven days across the planet, and we're seeing deep earthquakes across each continent right now. Let's have a look here in North America. Continuing swarms all around Washington. Activity through the Aleutian Islands down into Japan seems sustained. Deep earthquakes doesn't seem to be enough. But yeah, deep earthquakes moving across the planet right now. And this strange one here off the coast of Italy, very deep. This happened two days ago. No major movement, Antarctica, and nor the North Pole. And that's an update for earthquakes. No major earthquake events, except for this warm in Yellowstone, of course. Overlooking windy here, this is overlooking Russia. We've got some very intense carbon emissions coming out of multiple fires that are burning through Russia right now. You think BC has a problem? Russia has an even bigger problem right now. Looking at fires straight across Canada, Manitoba, northern Ontario. Looking at the SO2 maps for the next few days. Does not look good. Air quality does not look good across North America. And of course, China and down into the West Indies. Nasty, nasty air is, in the, is up there. Overlooking NASA Worldview here, showing all the hot spots and as well live shots of the fires. And look at that, multiple fires burning parts of northern Russia. Smoke filled skies straight through Kamchatka and eastward. Smoke riddled Africa as well. And look at all those hot spots. Many, many fires through Africa. Quiet through South America. And then, yeah, overlooking North America, it's just a blanket of smoke right now. Right from BC to the Atlantic provinces and will be moving into Europe in the long range forecast here. Look at all the intense fires there on the border with Manitoba and Ontario. And of course, large fires there burning Oregon and up into Washington. Stay safe, stay aware and prepared, my friends out there. Stay hydrated and stay tuned to your local TV, radio stations and heads up for evacuations. Have your go bag ready. I cannot stress that enough. And here's all the smoke from the last plume of smoke that blew out of Canada. Now in the middle of the Atlantic on its way to Europe. Very big, dense, low-pressure systems still across the planet, documented. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent volcanoes to update. Looking at Nevada de Ruiz in Colombia, and as well, Popo in Mexico, Ebico in Russia, Swiss and Ajima in Japan, Reventador in Ecuador, Dekono in Indonesia, it's hard to find all the volcanoes amongst all these floods and fires. Fuego, Guatemala, Senge in Ecuador. Sabancaya in Peru, Kermiski in Russia, Nevada de Chile in Colombia. And that's it for volcanoes. So looking at about 13 volcanoes getting updated today. So active volcanoes, 
and as well, active fire day, floods, thoughts and prayers going out to Germany. Wow. Unbelievable scenes coming out of there. Sad, very sad. So thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected. Looking at all of the fire alerts across Canada and the United States. Now into Manitoba and northern Ontario. So the extreme heat conditions and the large heat dome continues for now. We'll see in the five-day forecast coming up, see if anything changes. Overlooking Felicia, as, yeah, uh, we thought we were saying bye-bye to Felicia, but she all of a sudden roared into a Category 4 hurricane today. That's right, Category 4 overnight from, it was a Category 1, so... Three stages overnight, very tightly whipped Felicia heading westward and most likely will break down. Large area of interest that just east of her is going to follow the same trek. We will have a quick look at the five-day forecast right quick here. But we do have a tropical depression here, number nine, that is heading into China for the long-range forecast. Like they haven't seen enough rain as well, looking across this map, many flood alerts through Europe. Northern France, Germany, Western Germany, Belgium, Netherlands. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody there. Many people have been displaced due to the floods in Germany, if not complete towns. Just like we've lost complete towns in British Columbia from the forest fires. So thoughts and prayers for humanity and much love. Let's have a quick look at the five-day forecast brought to you by MediaWorth and as well daily events worldwide starting out here at Calgary, Alberta. We do have heat wave heading back in this week. Very warm and dry conditions continue. Most of the moisture is going to be going northward through Alberta and as well the prairies. Looking at a small low pressure system here heading eastward. Long range forecast just reaching northern Ontario and then into the Atlantic provinces. Widespread showers through British Columbia this week as a big low pressure system hangs out off of the coastline there. Hopefully it can bring in tons of moisture for you guys. We need it. But you can see intense deep lower level trough there. Low pressure still hanging around. Can't get over the mountains. Watch for some extreme weather here to develop for Texas Tuesday into Wednesday. You could have some pretty intense weather heading to you. Quickly forming low pressure system. I don't know where it's coming from here in this forecast. It's hard to tell. No tropical systems forming in the Atlantic heading towards the United States this week. Just an intense low pressure system here. Big one which will be heading into Europe in the long range. Not quite the five day, but long range definitely will be. And as well, that low pressure system getting ready to head out by Tuesday, Wednesday, leaving parts of Central Europe dry out a little bit, but then another one coming in. Overlooking Southeast Asia and the West Indies. Low pressure system grinding up into India yet again. Right into northern India, parts of Mongolia. And here is tropical depression number nine forecasted. Looks like it's just going to hit parts of northern Taiwan and then right into China. Heavy rains, daily evaporation rains through Papua New Guinea this week. And as well, India. Overlooking Australia. You do have that low pressure system lingering around Tasmania. Might bring some snow to parts of southeastern Australia this, over the next couple days. Tuesday into Wednesday, some pretty cool temperatures. And as well, parts of western Australia. Watch for very intense low pressure system heading to you from the equator. Southwestern Australia, Perth, will be affected. No major changes in the Pacific for Hawaii, nor New Zealand. Just watching 
Felicia and as well area of interest following behind right there. Could be a big one in the long range. Stay tuned to Daily Do as I will be giving live updates on the stream and as well daily updates in videos. Overlooking South America, rain parts of the north, very dry through parts of central, and an intense low pressure system here heading into the west coast of Argentina. No major weather systems affecting Africa, except for this low pressure system here. And as well, some very cool temperatures that will be moving into parts of South Africa this week. And as well, snow, a little bit of white stuff there. And still watching a pretty intense low that is hanging around Indian Ocean. It's been spinning there for about nine days already. Just waiting for that to let loose. I want to thank everybody for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew. Giving you your full five-day forecast as well. Space weather update and earthquake update. Thank you so much for watching. Leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.